Hey guys, so I'm back, and uh, this is part three. Alright, let's check my mementos. I got scared last time, so I stopped really. Evidence in the laboratory, blah blah blah. So I have to go to the wine cellar. For some reason, I feel like that's the wine cellar. God. It's locked, and it will not open without a key. <laughs> it seems kind of repetitive. Uh, this room is empty and has nothing in it. <laughs> oh, how many things can you do that with? What's up here? Oh. Oh. I just heard a dog. I don't like that. I like dogs. What's up here? Hello. Tabulario. Well, let's go up here, you know. Couldn't hurt. Oh, God, what's down here? That's boarded up. It won't budge. Okay. It won't budge. And it will not move. Okay, sorry. I just think that was funny. Uh, the door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London. It seemed appropriate somehow. <laughs> Said that all South Park like. Oh, God, I don't like this room. I don't like it. Why is no? Let's go into this. There's light stuff in here. Hello. What is this? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, Tin the Hanan. mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. What, what is Tin Hanan? Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. The British Museum. Okay, so you're a... Ooh! Hey, look, there's the sky. Why can't we just get out that way? What was that? What's in here? Oh. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this and you're like, what is this? This is a uh, survival horror game, and... Uh, it's scary because you don't have any weapons, so... Whoa, the door just like broke off. How did that happen? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Libre Rari. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Daniel. I got you covered. What is this? Catalogs. Well, sweet. What's in here? Uh... Hello. Uh, am I allowed to throw some books? Because I hate learning. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Okay, chair. I don't like that door being open. I think it just shut. Ooh, tinderbox. Don't mind if I do. Hello. Nope. What's this? <gasps> Plot. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron and Brandenburg, contract warning for three years. And it is now Alexander Baron. Okay, so Wilhelm is a slave to Alexander. Got it. Oh. Oh. This is creepy. This is like, I don't know. This music, this little like... Isn't really creepy, but it's just like... Like, why? I'm gonna break out. Study. Okay, let's go. I totally just heard something. And I only have a slight headache. So. I heard like a. Like a Chewbacca type sound. God. Okay. Just warning you guys, I'm a wimp. Like, 
I mean, I love horror games because they do this to me, but at the same time, it's like, oh my god. 17th of May, oh, it's the second part. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail well, me. Fail longer. me! Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Ooh, bad decision. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity to walk. This guy's driving me crazy. Which haunts this me voice still. actor. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped. It's like he says, he like pronounces every consonant. I don't know how he does it. Oh yeah, come get me monsters. Don't actually come and get me. I'm just kidding. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What's this? Old tomes. Let's go look at some. What was that? What was that? Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It's okay, Daniel. We got the uh, light. Seriously, I heard... Uh, that scared me. That shut me up good. <laughs> uh, what's in here? Okay. Seriously, though. What's in here? What's my oil like? Oh, I've got plenty of oil. Uh, oh, God. Why did I come in here? There's nothing in here. I even lit a candle for no reason. Oh. <laughs> Not for no reason. There's a tinder box. Oh yeah. Oh, and a chest. Open up. Give me that oil. Okay, so I just got plus one on tinder boxes. Dear God. Oh, wrong way. I'm an idiot. Go, go. Stupidest person alive. What is that freaking sound? Seriously. What? <laughs> it had like dust in it. Maybe it was like... Oh. It was like the monster's grandpa or something. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This is, uh... The game's got a lot creepier. Like, at the beginning I was okay because I was like, Oh, there can't be any monsters this early. <laughs> Come on. It won't open, it's locked. Good gore. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Find the key to the wine cellar. The door leading to the local history room is locked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whew. That scared me. <laughs> Dear God. Oh, okay. I, I physically jumped. What was that? Did you hear that? Okay, this is not cool. Oh, God. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Hey, some oil. I'm not even going to look to the left. There's like a monster there. <laughs> I just go straight for the oil. Okay, I have my freaking... Alright, that's it. Anybody comes near me, you, you get the chair. I like how I just ignore rooms to like to the right. I didn't even look at it. There could have been a monster in there. And it could be like yeah. and have killed me by now. But it didn't. What the heck? Oh I'm immune doing flashbacks. I can explore. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tempted to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start. What? Which is my time anyway. 
Let's do There's no can. door. There's no door. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Let's get the servants. Like Wilhelm? Is that what you mean? Like Wilhelm? Ha. Ooh, tinderbox. Okay, but what was that? It was like a shaky earthquake type thing. Oh, a book. I hate learning. Hate it. <laughs> Despise it. Oh, gotta get that out of there. No, 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 no. I wanted to throw the book. Okay. Hate it. Okay. Uh, that is amusing. What is this? <laughs> what? What? What just happened? What? Excuse me? 17th what? May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. What is it? A cursed object? Daniel, what did you do? Wait, what? Am I supposed- oh, I'm supposed to be going. What? I didn't realize I was supposed to be doing anything. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mist of light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay, uh, that's a good place to stop for now. <laughs> um, anyway. If you enjoyed this video, you should like it literally and leave a nice comment, a comforting comment because I'm scared. And subscribe. Okay, thanks. See you guys in the next video.